Well, if you're a Chargers fan, this game is the definition of depression. If you're a Cowboys fan, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm not a Tier 1 Chargers homer, but I did kind of go into this game wanting the Chargers to win. I like Herbert. I like what they're doing down there in L.A. However, they came out with a tough loss, 22-17. I'm going to go through the breakdown, the takeaways, everything you want to know and everything you don't want to hear, unfortunately. But before we get out of time, i got to hear from you guys. Comment down below, what does this change for both of these teams? Do you think the Chargers could still make the playoffs? Do you think the Dallas Cowboys could still win the NFC East? Whatever your reactions, thoughts, and predictions are for these teams in the rest of the season, let me know what it is. I know I'm covering up the score, but again, Cowboys won this game 22-17 in a nail-biter. Before I get to anything else, two big takeaways for the sake of the Chargers is A, we know about the refs. We know there are a couple plays that just, what the heck, especially, specifically, the elephant in the room, the grounding rule on that really both second and down, making it third and like 25 at the, for the goal line. It was ridiculous. I don't think it was grounding. I, I, it was just a bad call. I believe it was. And I do think that could dare, very well change the fate of the game. You could argue if Herbert doesn't throw two picks, they could win this as well. But I'm going to get further than that. The other one, the second takeaway. Give me one second. You guys can see it. Brian Bulaga is out. Right tackle right here is Storm Norton. This man, the simplest and the easiest way and the nicest way to put it is this man is ass. He is not good. I like Rashawn Slater. I like Corey Lindsley. Ode Abushi, Matt Filer. Get the job done. Him, Storm Norton, not a fan. Micah Parsons, a guy who was playing at his unnatural position, still a good edge rusher. I'm not saying he was taking on me at um, the pass rush and you know that's who he had a block but a guy that you should at least win some matchups with not get just crapped on every single play and by the same exact move it's just ridiculous that can't be happening and I understand the Chargers didn't really have a better option and Herbert still managed well but you gotta fix that goddamn old line with Storm Norton that was just really frustrating to watch throughout the entire game but again looking at the overall thing I thought both teams played well. Another small takeaway. I thought the Chargers ran the ball fairly well. You know, Austin Eckler averaging six yards a carry. That's very good for Eckler, a guy that we know isn't known for as a power back. He got involved in the receiving game, and he had one catch that was phenomenal and actually took him in the concussion protocol, but that one-hand catch was amazing. But another defect against the Chargers, again, I know it sounds like I'm hating on the Chargers, but I'm just being honest. You know, you guys know I'm a fan of what they're doing down there, but the run defense – Ain't it? Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott ran all over them. What does that combine for? 180 yards? And last week, Antonio Gibson ran all over them. The Chargers' run defense is not top tier. They actually limited Amari Cooper fairly well. CeeDee Lamb, you know, he had his he had his catches, he had his plays, he had his snaps. But it's not like in the receiving game, you know, Dak, look, he had 237 yards. But that's because the Chargers allowed them to be ran on. No team is perfect, you know. I'm not saying every team has the best right tackle. Every team knows how to stop the run. Every team knows how to have the greatest pass team. Every team has a perfect quarterback that throws zero picks. But there's just a lot of small, minuscule things that the Chargers need to torque. I still believe in this Chargers team. I still think they can make a playoff run. But just having this game slip through their teeth, slip through their hands, it was tough to watch. Some positive things. Herbert still looked good. If you look at the box score, one touchdown, two picks, it wasn't pretty. I personally missed the first pick. Um when it was Tra Travon Diggs. I did not see that pick. I don't know how ugly it is. I do want to hear from you guys. Let me know what it was. Was it a bad throw? Bad read? Travon's just that good. Whatever it was, let me know. But the second one in the end zone, I don't necessarily think it was a good throw or a good play. I did see King Allen slipped, and that could have messed with things, you know, whether he even just tipped it and just caused it not to be an interception, whether he caught and scored a touchdown. I do think it could have helped the play, but either way, I don't think it was a pinpoint on point throw. Mistakes happen. Herbert's still young. He still played phenomenal. He is the reason this Chargers team was still in contention. He is the reason he's, this team lived without a very good right tackle. He is the reason this team was in contention when they had a bad run defense. He is the bread and butter of keeping this LA team alive. I thought Brandon Staley's still doing fair, fairly well. It just had so many small, minuscule things fall the other way. The Cowboys, I said it before, in a shootout, I do think this Chargers team can win. But if the Cowboys want to win this one, they need to run the ball. They need to eat the clock. They need to control the time of possession. And that's exactly what they did, and that's exactly the unfortunate outcome I saw come. Credit to the Cowboys. Dak played well, as efficient as it comes. 23-27, he did have a pick. But still, Tony Pollard and Ezekiel Elliott really showed they still got some game to him, more so Tony Pollard. Um, they survived without 
Lyle Collins, Zach Martins, his presence was 100% felt. CeeDee Lamb and, you know, Amari Cooper really made up for Michael Gallup not being there. Michael Parsons made up for Demarcus Lawrence not being there. Cowboys did all the right things. They were away. Their kicker really clutched up. That sucked to see. I was really hoping. That's another thing I didn't mention. The special team on the Chargers. God damn. That before the half, they missed that kick. It was a lot of things to be negative about. I'm not trying to be completely negative about it, but there are positive things as well. But there's just so many small things that if just one of them went right, I think the Chargers can win this football game. And it, I think I'm just so more angry because I know the Chargers are the better team in this matchup. And after this matchup, I still think if they played 9 out of 10 times, you're going to see the Chargers win 6 out of 10 at least. They would win more than the Cowboys would. But it is what it is. No complaints now. Moving forward, I still think the Cowboys have a decent shot at the NFC East, and I still think the Chargers have a decent shot at making a wild card run. I was really hoping they would head into Kansas City at 2-0, or actually at Week 3. I know they play the Chiefs. I don't know if it's at home or away. Either way, I know they play the Chiefs in Week 3. I want to say it is away. And heading into 2-0 would have been crazy. And I do, I'm not doing a breakdown yet, and my prediction could change. But I'm just assuming the Chargers and Chiefs are going to split. And I think this one being away, I would give this one to the Chiefs. And then the Chargers win at home later in the season when they play the Chiefs. So possibly coming out of week three at one and two is going to look ugly. But I still got faith in this Chargers team. I still got faith in Herbert. While he wasn't absolutely perfect, he's the reason this team was even alive. He was the team reason this team was even in contention. You see right there, Dak was as efficient as it comes, 23 with 27. Zero touchdowns, one pick, 87.8 rating. And Herbert... Two picks, double the amount of turnovers, and his still rating was there right neck and neck with Dak. He still performed well on third downs. He still had great poise, presence, throws, everything you wanted in a quarterback. It just wasn't enough for today. This today for the Chargers, just too many mistakes were made, penalties. I believe in this team, and I still think they might be a year away from a Super Bowl squad, but I think they had the foundations of being a great team in the making. They just needed a hurry up and wait thing. This could be a rough season for them. But I still believe in them long, long term to have a bright future. And the Cowboys, again, seems like a Chargers-centric video. But when you're the winning team, not too, too much to say. Sometimes take away from them. They established the run game again. They have survived without the presence of Michael, or excuse me, without Demarcus Lawrence. They survived the, without the presence of Michael Gallup, Lala Collins. And they got the job done throughout the without doing it throughout the year. So kudos to them. But overall, moving forward, I still think these two teams have hopes at Playing in the postseason and continuing, not not saying they're going to rematch, but continuing the fact that they can still be a playoff team no matter who came out of this game with a win or the loss. But if I miss something, if there's a specific play, player, anything you guys want to talk about that I miss and you wanted me to mention again, play, player, coach, scheme, whatever, call, because I know there are a lot of them, comment down below and I'd love to respond to you guys and talk to you about it. But as always, and of course, thanks for watching, guys.